What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys part 2 for my playthrough on Super Mario Bros. Wonder for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we got started with this playthrough, completed the introduction, and started World 1. And in today's video, we're going to be completing World 1 and moving on with this game. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But right over here is the final castle, or the final level for World 1. We have a few other levels to complete, we got this badge level, there's a few levels down below this pipe, there's one up here. But I want to get started here back on the left side because we completed everything over here besides this one thing. It's just a break time. Hurry, hurry right here. Quick little challenge. We can get a nice little wonder seed and keep moving on from there. So we'll get started right here with this one right now. And this one's pretty simple. You just kind of got to rush around. So you hit that thing and you just rush. All you got to do. Pretty simple. Again, this is world one. So... A few of these little challenges are just kind of showing you how to play the game more so than anything. But something I love about this game is as you move on, there are actually really harder levels. And it's kind of cool. You'll actually be seeing some harder levels today down in the pipe. But we're going to be moving on, grab, grabbing ourselves a new badge and a badge challenge. And this is one of the badges that I actually really like on my other uh, file where I'm actually 100% in the game as quick as I can so I can bring you guys a bunch of guides. I actually use this uh, ability a lot. And this is the wall jump badge. So you can actually, instead of just wall jumping, you can uh, wall jump straight up instead of going to the side, which is actually really cool. It's actually really nice. So you can wall jump up and then wall jump to the side like normal. It's a really cool ability right here. Nice little badge. And I love the badges in this game. It's so dope. Like, look at that. Look at this little badge. Just hop up here and get straight up there. It's perfect. It is perfect. And get these purple coins, get them all, and move on from here. And actually, I want to go up here because there is a nice little 10 coin. And there we go. We're almost done this challenge right here. And it should be the last 10 coin right here. Yep. And then bang. Top of the flagpole. Challenge is done. Getting all the purple coins. We love it. Like I mentioned already, this is a 100% playthrough. So we're just going to be going through the main story first and foremost. And then backtracking and getting everything that we missed. So I'm not going to focus on getting the 10 coins. I love. I would love to get the 10 coins as quickly as possible. But I'm not going to stress too much about it. Because after we beat the game, we're going to come back. We are definitely going to come back. But there we go. Grab ourselves in another Wonder Seed and grab ourselves a new badge. And yes, I want to wear this badge. This is one of the better badges that I've used so far. But from here, we're going to go down to these pipes. And down these pipes actually have some nice harder levels. Like difficulties, two stars. This one's three stars. And I actually really like these, these levels down here. Really do like these levels. And I'm going to get started with this one over here. Angry Spikes and Sinking Pipes. Is that what it's called? Sinking pipes, dude. This game is so good. If you guys are watching this playthrough and do not have this game yet, I highly recommend it. It is definitely one of the best 2D Mario games out there. It's so good. It is so good, and I feel like the replay value is actually really good with it as well. And on top of it, uh, what is it called? Like speed running. You can. It's actually a good game to speed run. Can I kill this spike? Thank you very much. Pipe's gonna come up here, and can I go down this thing? No, I cannot. There's these little gold things right here. Where do I get that? How do I get this? Actually, let me, you know what? Let me pull out this. Can I just hit it with a trunk, right? Get this? I can. Cool. But I want the fire flower back. The fire flower is so much better at wind versus spikes. So, I'm just going to pull back out the fire flower and go from there. There's another spike here. I'm looking for the 10 coins, and I kind of forget where they're at. I do kind of forget where they're at. But I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to throw my fire flowers, get you done. And something went all the way up there, and it's going to be a pipe. This will be our first pipe. It's going to put us in the background, which I love. And with our new badge, we can actually hop up here. And is there something up here? I think there's got to be something up here. Let me see. Yep, there we go. Nice little elephant. <laughs> nice little elephant power up. You guys want it. And there is a 10 coin back here. So we're going to grab this 10 coin. We're going to hop up here. And what we got up here? Nice little one up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go back down the pipe. And we'll get cooking from there. Now we're back on the normal uh, side, and oh my god, a lot of spikes going on here. I want to pull back out my fire flower. Like I said, fire flower is just better to deal with spikes because you can get rid of their uh, the things that they throw and then KO them with the fireball. So let's keep moving on here. Here's another 10 coin, which I love, and is there anything over here? That's why I, one thing I don't like, well, I like it, but it's kind of annoying, is levels with pipes because I just want to check out every single pipe. I just want to check out every single pipe. So we got two of the, uh, the 10 coins. We just got the checkpoint. And do I want another fire flower? Not really. I'd rather have an elephant inside. But is there anything up here? 
I get up here? Let's see if I can hop up here. No, nothing up here. Nothing up here. Itch on the nose. We'll go after this plant. Can I go down here? How do I get down there? Is this pipe? Yeah, it's a pipe. Go chill, Spike. Chill! And actually, if I do this, he could throw a nice little spike ball. Is that gonna hit me? No, it's gonna roll to that one. Okay, so that didn't really matter. I got Fire Flower. A little Fire Flower up, and there's the last tank coin. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice little tank coin here. And as you guys can see, that little blue plant actually shot something down low. It gave us the indication that we can actually drop down here. We got all the 10 coins, but I think the Wonder Flower should be here. Yep, there's the Wonder Flower. Cool. So each level, I believe, has a Wonder Flower. And if you complete the Wonder Flower challenge, you get the Wonder Seed. So you can get at least two, two Wonder Seeds from all normal levels. And oh my god, this one's actually cool. I love the Wonder Flowers. They just add so much value to the level. Like, look at this one. You're getting spikes throwing stuff at you left and right. As everything goes up. And you get a bunch of coins, too. So we just gotta survive for this minute. We can cook it from there. Right, get out of here, Spike. Yo, look at the spikes in the background, yo. They're just jamming, holding, holding the uh, spike balls that they throw. <laughs> dancing around. I love it. I love it so much. We're gonna take out you. We're gonna take out you. And how do I get up there? Oh, there it goes. The Wonder Seed just fell down. Beautiful. So grab yourself some Wonder Seed. And let's get moving on here. So we got everything done on this level. We can head to the end. We just gotta get top of the flagpole. Top of the flagpole is part of the 100%. So I always try to get it every single time. And there we go. Wonderful. Top of the flagpole. Bang, bang. Cool. Cool. Give me that Wonder Seed. And I still don't know the names of these, these like weird toads of the Flower Kingdoms. And they probably mentioned them before. I just did not read it. <laughs> but I think they're, they're, they're all right. Toads are a lot cooler. I think toads are a lot cooler. They're just like rip off toads. Like, come on, man. You really stealing toads, Thunder? It's ridiculous. Let's move on to the next level Swamp Pipe Crawl. And these guys are actually pretty cool. I believe they push the pipes. And it's pretty tough. That's something I love about this game is the amount of new enemies they made. The amount of new enemies are like so much. And I love it. I love it. It's just like they're not like reusing a bunch of old enemies. They just got a bunch of new newbies over here. And so cool. It really is. So I'm gonna hit up on you, I'm gonna go this way, and as you can see, these pipes actually connect. And did I really just hurt myself there? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, because I had a shell in my hand. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, because I had a shell in my hand. But you know what, I'm gonna pull this back out here, and make sure I don't pick up a shell this time, and grab this elephant power up. So the shell's not my friends right now, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be friends with shells. I'm gonna grab another elephant apple, and we'll go from there. Alright, okay, so back to where we started, and I'm gonna just out push this guy, out muscle him, and put this pipe together. So over here, I believe there should be a 10 coin, right? 10 coin? Yes, yeah, sir. Give me that. And can I get up here for something special? Let's see. Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. And an extra one up. Beautiful. Lovely. Nice little one up. And this guy, uh, can you carry these guys? Yeah, I'm gonna just do a butt slam on them with an elephant. 3,000 tons. <laughs> just slapping them in the face. So where are the other ones at? Need the other 10 coins. Let me slap up on them. And I love the elephant power up. I really do. I think it's such a cool, cool one. It's kind of like the, what's it called? What do I gotta do here? Hold up. Let's read the situation. Oh, that works. We should KO him, have him push the pipe over there and connect them. So now that they connect them, I get this and... Okay, it adds pipes. Cool. Oh, anything over here? Can I go down here? I cannot. All right, let's keep moving on. I jump, jump. All these pipes I want to check, but there's nothing in them. <laughs> it's nothing in them. We only have one ten coin right now. And there's another elephant apple. And we don't need that. We'll just grab it. And there's a pipe that we can actually move. How do we do this? Can I do this? Oh, I can push this pipe. So I'll push this pipe that way, and then I'll stack this pipe onto that one, completing it. And there's the wonder seed. Or the wonder flower. Oh, cute. And we got the, the worm pipes going again. I love the worm pipes. They're just so funny. Oh, it's going down into the, the poison. I don't like that one bit. Here's another one. Yeah, the worm pipes are so funny. Uh, let's get a move on. Over this way. I see more. I need 10 coins. We're still missing two 10 coins here. Two 10 coins we're missing. I'm going to go up this way. Go here. Go here. And wait for this pipe to move here this way. The worm pipes, bro. They're so funny. There's another tank coin right there. 
So right in the background, we're gonna hop down here. We're gonna grab this tank coin, and that is the third one. We missed the second one. We missed the second one. Like I said, I'm not gonna stress too much about the tank coins. I'll eventually- Oh! I'll eventually come back and uh, get them later in the playthrough. So let's keep moving here. Grab the Wonder Seed. Pretty much complete the level. Nope. We gotta get top of that flagpole though, right here. Bang, top of the flagpole is easy. Some of them actually are a little bit of a challenge and you have to like strategically jump. But for the most part, top of the flagpole is not too hard. But something that I'm super excited about this game is they have a special world at the end and all the levels are like top tier difficulty. And I cannot wait to actually do that because everybody knows a difficult 2D Mario level are awesome. They're, they're just so cool because like it challenges yourself to beat them and then when you finally beat them, you're just so stoked. And that's again, that's something I really like about this game is that they got some hard levels in there. So from here, we are at the KO Arena. And the KO Arena is you just have to defeat all the enemies in a certain amount of time to actually get uh, 10 coins. So from here, I think 70 seconds, you have to beat it to get all three uh, 10 coins. So we're gonna try to grind here. So I'll go here, KO you. And let's see if I can just double fireball, there we go. And keep moving here. There's two, hop on you. And then KO the last one. Cool. So 11 seconds on the first go? About 12. We got three rooms for this. So we have to do all three rooms in about 70 seconds. And what we got here? We got pea plants, yo. Oh, where'd it going? Got these all these pea plants. These things scaring me. Ah! One more. Where are you going, pea plant? You coming this way? You are coming this way. There we go. The second room done, I should be able to just hop up here, yep, and get going. And now we have about 30 seconds, 38 seconds, to finish off this last one. These are the bulls. These bulls are mad annoying, but if you get them to run, they will actually fall off the edge here. So I'm actually just KO this one with fireballs. Can I actually KO you with fireballs? There we go. The two more to go. Where are the other two at? Just gonna KO this one, fireballs. Almost done. There we go. And last one should just be able to run off the edge unless we just laser it with fireballs. Nah, no, it's just gonna run off the edge. That's cool. That works out. There we go. 54 seconds. Probably will end with 57. Not 56. And there we go. Complete it in less than 70 seconds. I know this one is definitely 70 seconds for all three coins. And there it is. Congratulations. Yo, the flower's talking. I love them. I love them. So there we go. Get the Wonder Seed. Get all three 10 coins. And finish up this little KO. I love the little challenges too. Big fan. Big, big fan. So there we go. 19 Wonder Seeds here. We'll get moving on back out the pipe because these are the only three levels in there. And we could finish off, but I believe there's a level up here. Yeah, Bull Rush Express with a four star or four orange star difficulty. Love it. Love it. I love the bulls in this game. So the bulls are here. We're going to keep this badge. The badge is tough too. And we're going to go from here. So they're going to bump heads. I'm actually just jump this way and get over top of them. Anything over here? No. Leave me out to dry. I thought there would be a secret power up over there. So right now we have Wonder Flower right here. We don't go with it. We don't want Wonder Flower. And the bulls are coming, yo. Let's hop on their backs. So right now we're just hanging out with the bulls and we're looking for all the 10 coins. So we'll do this. There's a P switch here. A power up there. Some more coins. And a 10 coin over here. I missed it! I kind of want to restart to get that. I kind of want to restart to get that. I should have had that. Oh, there's another 10 coin. Go, go, go. Get back on the bulls here. We don't get riding. Pal block, throw it. And keep on moving! <laughs> Duck those guys over top him. And I missed that tank win. I definitely want to do this level again. I definitely want to do this level. We got to hop up to the top here. And we got a Wonder Seed right here. So I'll grab the Wonder Seed. And I believe there's a hidden pipe here. And you need an elephant power up to get it. And luckily I have it. And if you tear through the side, yeah, there's a yellow pipe. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's a secret flagpole here. I believe there's a secret flagpole here. So I'm going to go up this way. And the bull's going to take me across to it. And he's going to hop. And then I'm going to hop on top of the flagpole. Bang. So this is a red flagpole. And if you guys do not know, some levels have secret exits. Secret flagpoles. And if you see a red flagpole, it means you found it. And what they do is open an alternate path and let you do more levels. So, cool. So we'll get that one. I do want to redo that level so I can get the original Wonder Seed and defeat the original Firepole. And plus, we did miss out on two of those coins, and I'm, I really want to get it. But there we go. We unlock another cool level, and I'm going to go back to this one. 
I said, I want to go back to this one and I want to beat it. Bull Rush Express. Back to it. We'll give it one more. We'll give it one try here. And let me just hop off your head and then go over here. Cool. All right. So we missed the first one and the third one, correct? Yeah, we got the second one. And I should have had both of them. I jumped for both of them and just missed them. Very upset at that. So Elephant Mario, we're getting on the back. We're going from there. And then coins. And the first one should be coming up rather soon, right? It's pretty early on here. I'm just waiting for it. There it is. There we go. So there's the first one. We got the second one, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But I can't get it again right here. But I could care less about it. We just need a third one. Grab the power block, toss it, and keep running. Hit that P switch, and where's this last one at? Don't duck under that. Duck under that. No! It's right there! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> it's right there, so it's right after that part. Right after that part. We're gonna try. Right, we'll, we'll go one more try, because I do want to defeat the level regardless. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll hop down here. I do want to actually bring out this mushroom. And just have it just in case, because we are going to get another one. And we'll go from there. So, th are we still considered that we got the first one? Let me see. Yeah, so technically we got the first one already. We just got to get that third one and end this level. This. The piece, which you get a bunch of coins here. So, if you need one-ups, like a coin, this is not a bad place to get some coins. And I'm going to take damage there. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I missed that mushroom. I really wanted that. I'm gonna power block, toss that, get up here, get that P switch, and we're gonna get cooking. Duck this. There we go, get the tank coin. Now all we gotta do is make it to the end. There we go, cool. So we got this one, no problem. And I'll pull out this mushroom just so I have it for later. And grab this one, we'll see it again. Alright, beautiful. Dope, awesome. Got all the coins, all we gotta do is get top of the flagpole. And I kind of forgot. Oh, is there something over here? There is something over here. Oh, what's over here? Oh, a bunch of coins. Cool. I actually did not know that was there. I kind of just saw it and wanted to do my instincts. And how do I get up there? This snail's kind of annoying me. Is he going to go around the other side? Maybe I could just make this jump. I know. I probably have to do this. I have to get rid of the snail. The snail's annoying me. There we go. So I'm thinking I could just do a sprint, run, jump, and then jump. Top of the flagpole? Let's go. There it is. Top of the flagpole. Thank God I went back and actually did that level. Got everything I needed. And now we can move on. Beautiful. Three Wonder Seeds. Love it. I'm such a completionist, too. When it comes to single-player games, I love to just do everything. I love the 100%. I love to get, like, my... I like to say my money's worth out of the game. Right? Complete everything. Get as many hours as I can out of it. Love it. So we defeat that level, and we unlock this secret level, which is... Do I want to do this one? Yeah, I do want to do this one. I do want to do this one. So we'll do this one, and then we'll defeat World 1. We'll do the castle. And we'll defeat our first boss and get moving from there. We are in this... What is this called? The Sproings in the Twilight Forest. So this is a silhouette level. And this is actually a really cool level here. This level right here is all silhouettes. We're just... Everything's dark and crazy, so you got to keep an eye out for everything. Any power-ups? Yes, there is. A little bit of Elephant Mario action. Action. I love how he says wowie zowie. It's so funny. <laughs> wowie zowie. <laughs> right, let's grab this stuff. Get some more coins. And we'll go over here. So there's a 10 coin there. How do I get that? Can I just go under here? Oh, I can break blocks. Two. So we'll get that. And what's that thing doing? More coins? Need more coins. Can I get up there? Oh, I cannot. How do you get up there? Can I hop up here? Oh, how do you get up there? Don't know, don't really care at this point. <laughs> we'll go through here. There's another 10 coin right above. I'm gonna slap up on this guy. How do I get that? Can I just do a wall hop? I'm gonna have to do it this way. Speed jump, bang. How do I get up there? Oh, I can just I can hop inside here. There we go. Cool. So we get the second 10 coin. I'm gonna grab a checkpoint. Go from there. This level's so cool. Like, like, the variety in this game compared to other Mario games. Oh, there's a Wonder Flower in there. The variety in this game compared to other Mario games is insane. Like, every level feels so different. Whereas, in the older Mario games, older 2D Mario games, I should say, 
each world had similar levels, right? So like the third world or the second world would be all desert levels. The first world would be all like mushroom levels. This game just feels so nice, just having so much variety. Especially with the Wonder Seeds. The Wonder Seeds are so cool. So this one more like a, a small, big Mario. Like a tall Mario. And there's a block here. There we go, what's that? Nice little coin. We'll jump on, oh, I was gonna say Goomba's head. And we'll just keep moving on. Oh, dude, those guys are annoying. And oh, that was my last live? That's my last hit. I would have popped my, uh. I would have popped my elephant if that was the case. Oh, there we go. We'll pop the elephant again. Wish I would have known. Another elephant here? Yes, sir. So we'll store that one for future purposes. And we'll KO this thing again and get the Wonder Flower. Wonder Flower! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! I almost, I almost got hit by those things. I landed in between them. Come here, let me get let me get in there. There we go. I think we're missing one tank coin, right? Yeah, one tank coin, and it's right there. I see it. How do I get that? One more tank coin. Let me go down here. And I'm just gonna keep shrinking, I guess. How do I get to that? Is there an invisible wall here? How do I get that? I have to go down this way. This kind of looks like the way. Shrink and go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Dope. So we got that one. I should have one more live left. Actually, no, you only get two hits with these things. That makes sense. So we don't want to take another hit. I kind of just want to bounce our way through and get past everything. I am scared. I'm looking for the Wonder Seed right now because these spring guys are man annoying. <gasps> no, we're going to miss the top of the flagpole. Where's the Wonder Seed at, though? Shouldn't we have gotten a Wonder Seed already? I'm so confused. Where's this Wonder Seed at? We're just gonna go to the top of the flagpole. Go, 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 go. Hopefully these dudes respawn. I don't think they will. Oh, one did. Did I get top? I didn't even get top of the flagpole. That hurts the soul. So there's a Wonder Seed right there. We actually missed a Wonder Seed. Usually when it comes to the Wonder Flowers, you usually just come across them, but I guess I missed it. I guess I missed it. But there we go, guys. We'll eventually go back to that level. I really don't want to do that again. We're going to head to the castle. Do we unlock another level? We do not. Oh, we do. What's this? Do we do that level? Nah, we're going to come back to that level. We're going to go back to that level. We will go back. So let's do the castle right now. We need 14 Wonder Seeds. We got 23. That's plenty. I'm going to catch him in, get this Prana Plane off here, and finish off World 1. Here we, go. we start difficulty, and I actually really like the castle levels. They look so tough. You guys will see. Like, look at the entrance to this. You have to walk up the stairs into the castle. They, they, they just did such a good job on this game. Way too good of a job, right? Way too good of a job. So we got these, oh, these uh, little Goompas, these dry bone Goompas, and more elephant power-ups. So grab these coins and these pipes just appear out of nowhere. Kind of funny. And we'll move on. Hammer Bros. Hammer Bros are so annoying, but they're such a good enemy. They really are. I see coins up there, and I believe I can hit my trunk through them, right? Correct? Can I hit my trunk through them? Yeah, I can. Cool. Go bop you. And kill you, and I should be able to hop up here and then wall jump and make my way this way. Cool. So we haven't found a, a coin yet. We found an elephant. How do we get inside here? Have to go through this pipe? Yeah. Get that wonder seed going, baby. Wonder flower. And we about to go crazy. A lot going on. Pipes are dropping. Yo, chill on me. How do I get up there? Do I just do this? No, I can't get up there. There's soul. I'll go here. I'm gonna hop over here. And get up here. I haven't found a tank one yet. I kinda wanna backtrack. I saw a bunch of those little coins over here. And what is this? A little breakable thing? And there's a tank coin. I should be able to speed run through it. And that's the second one, so we missed one. We missed one. And I kinda want it. I don't know where it's at. But I'm doing the Wonder Flower, so. Mm. 
There's the third one. So we missed one coin. How do I get this one? Oh, there we go. Oh! I almost died on that one. Hammer Bros coming. And there we go. Wonder Seed's done. We missed one tank coin. That's upsetting. That's upsetting because I like to get all the uh, the tank coins and everything done in the castle. Usually first try. So you don't have to backtrack and do a whole castle fight again. But hey, we already got to come back to World 1. And plus, that makes the playthrough a little bit longer. So hope you guys are enjoying the Super Mario Wonder content. Because we're going to have plenty of episodes of this. There we go. That's this. I don't really care what item we have because we got two elephants ready to go. And we're here for our first boss fight. Bowser Jr. B Jr. What's up, my dog? Yo, you ain't got to be fighting like this. I'm a whole elephant. I'm a whole elephant. But the boss fights are so much better in this game than normal 2D Mario games. But they're kind of similar, though. At least the first couple, I should say. And then they change up a little bit. There we go. They give him a little bop on the head. He's going to do his little spaz movement. And then he gets up. He says, hey, yo, I'm going to use some wonder power. And he puts on actually a sick costume. Like, they should add that to, like, Super Smash Bros. And he makes me really big, him very small. And I'm going to take some damage here. And look at this. I can jump and actually force him to do that. And I can hit him again. And I think it's going to be one more hit. And now I'm super tiny. What I like to do up against Bowser Jr. here is when he comes over to me, I can actually just jump, wall up, and then wall kick again. And just dodge him. And it kind of pretty simple. And then do that. Oh, no. I need to actually do a ground pound on him. There we go. So when you're small, you have to do a nice little ground pound. Get a little bit of extra power. Let me take him out. Beautiful. So first world done. Put it in the bag. We all finished up. And then we get moving on. Only been recording for... Uh, actually, that's not bad timing. We could stop here. But I kind of want to do one more level. For this. Just, just one more level. And there we go. We get our first royal seed. So at the end of every single world... At the, every time you beat a castle, you get a Wonder Seed. Wonder Seeds will basically destroy the Piranha Plant clouds on the main castle that got taken over by Bowser and help us go from there. You know who I really like? I really like Prince Florian too. Just he's like a little caterpillar in the Flower Kingdom. He's so tough. Look at him. <laughs> I love him. I think he's so cool. So Prince Florian helping us out. And we saved the castle. And so Mario Party reclaimed the palace. With a royal seed safely in hand, they're set off pursuit of Bowser, who has somehow turned into a castle. <laughs> Can they stop Bowser before he pulls off whatever he's planning? See you later. See you later, buddy. I love the flowers. <laughs> flowers are sick, dude. The flowers are sick. I would love to get like a replica flower on my desk like that. That'd be real tough. There we go. Finish off the castle, finish off world one, and we get moving on to next place. There's my boy Prince Florian. The Petal Isles are just ahead. This beautiful place is the heart of our flower kingdom. Now let's try to catch up with Bowser. So we're actually going to be discovering a new place which is not a world. So there's world one, there's world two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't even know how many worlds. But in between all the worlds are the Petal Isles. They are located inside or in between all of the... Uh, the worlds and they're just extra levels there's islands with extra levels that you visit in between worlds so i think it's a really cool touch i really do so it's a bunch of islands wrapped around the main castle and it's tough so there's castle bowser over here we got ourselves a beautiful wonder seed here or a royal wonder seed i should say and every time you get one mario puts it in his hands and he says hey yo he go and he throws it at bowser's castle and royal seed actually destroys one of the planet clouds so that's how you get the Bowser Castle. Just collect all the world seeds, do all the worlds, and do that. Cool. So now we can actually move on, and I believe we get a really good badge here. Is it over here, or is it on the next island? Alright, let's get a move on. So there's a shop there, adds to the island, and I think you just get a free wonder seed. But look at the little cheap cheeps just hop around. Angler Poplin's house. So it's kind of weird that they have a bunch of these guys, or a bunch of these shops on like new areas. You just legit walk into the house and they give you a free wonder seed. I think there should be like a challenge, but I think it just introduces the wonder seed of this island or of the new places. It's so like I said, every new place, you legit walk in and then some little. Fake toad hands you one of these wonder seeds that's a different color than the next. So we get that wonder seed and now we can move on to the petal isles. Again, I love the petal isles. 
I don't know, I was just sick. So we'll do one more level before we finish off today's video and we'll grab this badge. This is a new badge. It's called the Dolphin Kick Badge. And this is a big time badge when going into any water level. Whenever you're going into a water level, make sure you have this one equipped because I'm telling you, it is the best. You can hit the R button, the bumper, or the trigger, and you can do a dolphin kick. And what it actually does, is it makes you swim faster. And it's such a good touch in the uh, in the water levels. It really is. I love it. So in this little challenge, you just gotta spam it and catch up to the ten coins and finish up. And we're gonna try to get them all here. Come on, ten coins. Trying to get all you guys. It's actually, you got to kind of do this perfectly to get all 10 coins. And we're going to try to do this first try. I would love to do this first try. Because it actually took me a little bit when I was doing it on my main file. But I kind of know the path now. So I'm going to dip down here. I should be able to grab this one right here. Can I grab you? Can I get you? Cool. And now we're going to go down here. And there should be a kind of like a shortcut. Instead of following the next one, you kind of just want to hang right here. And go over top there. There we go. So now we're on pace to actually get this one. Can I get it? Get it! There we go. And we got it. And I actually got that one real quick. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Finish it off. If you don't catch up to the 10 coins in time, you will not be able to receive them because they'll go behind a wall. But in this case, we were able to do that. We'll go down here. This will create me a path. And I'll hop up here, hop up here, and bang. Top of the flagpole. Getting ourselves a brand new badge. So we'll do one more level before we finish off today's video. I feel like we accomplished a lot. Cool. Give me that one to see. It's so cool how they added more collectibles in 2D Mario. Like the Wonder Seeds were just perfect. They were just perfect. Because every time you would just defeat the level, and that would be it for Mario 2D games. But in this case, there's so many different like collectibles. So this game has so much replayability. Like you don't have to just defeat a course once. You have to defeat a course maybe twice, grab the coins, do a Wonder Seed challenge, just do a bunch of different things. Oh no, I didn't equip the uh, Doth Kick badge. Let me actually restart course. Like I said, every water level you want to equip the dolphin kick badge. Oop. We got dolphin kick ready to go. And we'll go from here. A nice little fire flower. And another new enemy that we get introduced. And I believe it's like a flounder. These guys are pretty cool. I actually like these guys. They're little flounders. And we got dolphin kick ready to go. It just makes water levels ten times better. And how do I get this coin here? Oh, there's a, there's a flounder here. I believe he's going to break everything. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try to sneak in there right now. And then get up and out of here. Cool. Yeah, these, these characters are cool. Look at them, yo. They're little flounders. <laughs> They're flounders that just jump up and attack you. Real dope. I'm going to try... Oh, there's a flounder coming. He just actually just KO'd them. And I want to get up to this pipe right here. Beautiful. Make our way up to this pipe. And there's the second 10 coins. We're grinding with these 10 coins in this level. You got anything to say, buddy? Ah, smell the salt here. I love beachy levels in Mario. Usually my favorite. In Odyssey, the Beach Kingdom was arguably my favorite. There's checkpoint. Got my boys, the flowers chilling. And we're looking for the last tank coin. I actually don't want that fire flower. I have an elephant in my thing. And where's this last tank coin at? Oh, we're getting a bunch of coins from these guys. <laughs> cheap, cheap, hello. Let me grab that. And what does that give us? I believe we could just break through these things. Yeah, it's, that's that's the beauty of the dolphin kick. Check point here. One more ten coin. Where's it at? There's the wonder seed. And I'll grab that. So wonder seed comes out. We have a badge wonder seed challenge and a giant flounder fish that's biting everything. It's coming here. We gotta follow it. Hello, Mr. Flounder Fish. And there's a little token. I think if we, I think we gotta collect five of these, right? Correct. If he's going to try to bite us, what we want to do is actually allow him to break these things right here and open up the sections for us. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to dip back. There's still missing a tank ring. I honestly forget where it's at. And I, I thought the thing was going to hit me, and it does. All right. I want him over here more to try to bite this open. And did he catch that? That's it. Yeah, he does. So we can sneak up here. Can I sneak up there? Yeah, I can. Grab this and move over here. So we need one more of these, and I can't believe it. I think I missed the tank coin. I'm upset at that. Very upset. Come over here, Mr. Flounder. I need you to bite me over here. There we go. He's locked in. Let's move out the way. Have him bite up there, and we'll grab this. 
and then grab the last badge and finish off the Wonder Seed Challenge. Nope. Yes. Still very upset. This is 10 coin. Unbelievable, Jeans. You're better than that. Unless it's over here. I doubt it, though. I really do doubt it. Is it back here by chance? Is it back here by chance? No, I just missed it. Unless it's down this pipe. Hold up. It's not. Down here? I totally missed it. Please be down here. Ah, yeah, we lost it. What's she down here? Nope. Unbelievable, James. Unbelievable. Missing 10 coins. Up here? Nope. Looks like we're going to be back at this level. Looks like we're going to be back eventually. But for now, we'll just beat it. Move on from there. Unless it's up here, but I think this is just, this is just the end of the level. A chance. You over here? What's that? There's a flounder in there. I think we gotta beat it before it jumps and breaks the thing. Yeah, okay, cool. There's top of the flagpole. Missed a nice little 10 coin, but it's all good. Like I said, we'll be back at these levels anyway. Chances are we gotta pretty much play through most of the levels twice. And recollect everything. Because like I said, 100% playthrough. Gotta always come back. Gotta always come back. But there we go. There we go. That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. As in the next episode, we are going to be moving on with the Petal Isles, doing a bunch of more levels here, and then unlocking World 2 and starting that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.